Hi, everyone. This is Charles Hoskinson broadcasting live from warm, sunny Colorado. Negative 10 outside, not exactly too warm, but certainly sunny today. Just a brief comment. I saw on Reddit uh, somebody doing some scraping around and commenting on peer review of our papers. And this is a common mistake that academics from other domains make when they start looking at things in the computer science realm. So if you are a physicist, a mathematician, a biologist, or something, there's usually a canonical set of journals for your domain uh, that are considered to be very prestigious, and it takes months to years to get published in those journals. Um, conference proceedings are typically tier two or tier three things, where if you can't quite publish in a journal, you go to a conference, and usually those are discussion pieces and they're not as prestigious. And in many cases, they don't go through any rigor or peer review at all. Uh, computer science is a completely different domain. Uh, it's actually the opposite in computer science. And I wanted to make this video for those academics out there that are coming into our space. Uh, you do not make hiring and tenure decisions in cryptography or comp sci uh, based upon journal publications. They do exist. There are certainly our journals in computer science land, but conferences in the CS world are generally much more rigorous and they're much more difficult to get papers into. For example, crypto, uh, Eurocrypt, and CCS are considered to be tier one conferences in the computer science world, in the field of cryptography and information security. And generally when you submit a paper, it has to go through a double blind peer review process. There's a referee process and uh, only about 10 to 15% of those papers are accepted. It's considered very prestigious to get papers accepted, and tenure, postdoc, and other considerations are actually made based upon your publications in that domain. If it was the, that journals were uh, certainly prestigious in computer science land, we would aspire to publish in them, but it simply is not the case for the most part for the practicing computer scientist, at least in the domains of cryptography and programming language theory and so forth. It's not to say journals don't exist, but it's just done differently. Computer science is a relatively new field of academia, uh, and it exists uh, in the 20th century, mostly, especially the second half of the 20th century. So it's not quite beholden to the same traditions that academia has before. So it's much faster paced. Uh, generally, these conferences are annual, in some cases biannual, and uh, there's, a, there's much lower latency uh, between when you submit a paper when the paper actually gets accepted and you present that paper. Some cases in the mathematical world, it can take two or three years for a result to eventually percolate to a point where it actually considers to be fully peer reviewed. Uh, and this is just not the case of computer science. So I figured I'd make this real quickly because uh, it comes up every now and then. We see it floating around Telegram or Reddit. And it's an honest mistake that most academics make if they happen to be from a different domain and not realizing that computer science does things backwards for most of the academic world. Um, and if you wanna verify that, talk to any CS department and see uh, the, the CVs of the tenured professors at those CS departments, you'll see the vast majority of their work comes from conference, not from uh, general publications. Uh, that said, uh, there are other currencies uh, such as particularly novel inventions, um, particularly novel uh, books that they write and so forth. And so it's a much more dynamic field and there's much closer industry cooperation in computer science land uh, than you would typically see in a pure maths department, for example. Uh, so it's not uncommon for many theoretical and applied computer scientists to also be doing industrial research. Uh, and this is especially the AI domain and the cryptography domain, because that happens to be where the most interesting deployments of the technology happen to be. But I figure I'd just make a quick video because I see this every now and then, and it's important to point it out. Uh, that is how it just works. Those are the rules, and I'm very glad it works this way. If it was the other way where you had to go to a journal and wait two or three years to publish, we actually would not follow uh, with Cardano a, a full peer review system. We would probably have light touch and move on. But because the fact that conferences are frequent and the review time is significantly smaller, uh, usually a few weeks to a few months once you've submitted, as opposed to years in certain cases, uh, that, that's a huge benefit and allows us to have our cake and eat it too inside the industry. And there's well more than 10,000 citations uh, for our pool of work, 95 papers, and the vast majority of them have appeared at some conference. And the really prestigious ones in crypto land are crypto and Eurocrypt and so forth. And every year we usually have something appear there. 
So we certainly met the standard of the computer science world and we'll continue doing that. What's gonna get interesting is that our department is starting to get, our division, our research division is starting to get more interdisciplinary. And there we're starting to go into game theory and economics, into law, we're starting to even do mathematical research again, uh, these types of things. And there, there is a, a, a process that is more journal centric uh, and unfortunately, that's a bit too high latency for an industrial research group. So we're going to have to figure out how do we blend that research in a way where we can still benefit from what we're benefiting from, from computer science land uh, in the more traditional academic domains. And that's a, a question for 2021 and beyond. And it's going to be a fun research question. We might even have to create some journals or endow some journals to have a slightly faster turnaround time or create levels of verification or review above and beyond a pass fail of did you just appear in the journal or not. So it's an interesting academic question. Where this is actually becoming a big issue is in the, the biological domain, especially in medicine and virology. Um, COVID, for example, uh, there are thousands of papers being written about COVID and they're all just appearing as preprints at, on archives as opposed in traditional journals. And a lot of cases, even when they appear in the journal, they're not going through the normal peer review process, which can take months to years, if not longer. And so there's been a lot of discussion of maybe science should work a little faster and maybe we should be a little uh, more open to things coming through faster like we do in the computer science world. Uh, and it's an interesting discussion and I hope it has a positive outcome on the speed of things uh, because simply the industry just moves too slowly for it to be practical for industrial products in the general sense. So common confusion, but we resolve confusions here. Thanks for listening. Everybody.